What's up Brozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to a FNAF news video. Today we're going to be talking about a load of book news. Seriously, we've got quite a lot to cover. So I, I just thought I would go through everything that's kind of releasing in the next year or two. Uh, <laughs> we've got a lot of books to cover so we should probably just get straight into it, yeah. So I think the best place to start is of course the Tales from the Pizzaplex series because we know that we've got a lot of those books and it's hard to keep up sometimes honestly it's hard to keep up with all the news and what's going to be coming out in the future so we have had Lally's Game and Haps those are out now you can go and buy them in your local bookstore or online of course and uh, you can go read them today all six stories I would say are pretty solid I would say that the overall quality of the books has gone up since the Fazbear Frights and I think everybody pretty much agrees on that the epilogues are really cool too, they seem to be setting up something very mysterious, so I would go and read those books if I were you to catch up on, uh, on the recent FNAF stuff that's happening. But of course, that is not where Tales from the Peterplex ends, we still have plenty of books to cover straight after that. So we have the third book, which is called Somnophobia, and it contains the stories Somnophobia, which is the fear of falling or fear of falling in sleep and staying asleep or something. I don't know. Fear of sleep. I don't. I don't know. Then we have pressure, and we have clethrophobia, which is the fear of being trapped. Um, and this book has been leaked. Okay, this book has been leaked. It is supposed to release. Are on the 1st of November 2022 which is about a month away now but it has already been leaked so people already know the contents of the stories I know the contents of the stories and I must say you have to read this book you have to it's really good um, I, I think that these books are actually coming to uh, trying to build a cohesive timeline for us and uh, I think that that is that is really good because that's that's those are the sort of books that we need kind of easy to put together uh, and still have theorizable content. So book number four coming after that is Submechanophobia, which is the fear of things submerged under the water. And that is coming out on the 27th of December, 2022. It features a story about a water park, about a Fazbear fan club, and there's going to be a story about this guy called Abe, who lives in a Fazplex uh, tower apartment or something like that. I can't quite remember what exactly it was called. But that is very interesting to note because in the next book, number five, he actually gets a sequel story. Now I don't know if the first part is going to end on a cliffhanger and then the second part is going to kind of bring it back up and continue the story, or if they're going to be two completely separate stories, but kind of in the same... I don't know, it's going to be really weird. So I'm, I'm excited to see what those two stories are about. But book number five is called The Bobby Dot's Conclusion. That is probably the the final story with Abe, yes. But it also features a Fazbear Entertainment Board of Directors story and a potential story about Gregory because there is a story in there about someone who has the high scores in the, uh, in the arcade. So I would say the most hyped up book at the moment is the Bobby Dot's Conclusion, that is coming out on the 7th of March 2023 and I especially am excited for those stories, they sound so juicy. <laughs> now book number 6 is called Nexi uh, and this is the cover that we actually got yesterday. Uh, strangely this cover was actually uploaded on the 5th book because we don't have a cover for the Bobby Dot's Conclusion yet but I think that they accidentally uploaded the wrong file which is hilarious. <laughs> So we now know that book number six is called Nexi. We know that it is coming out on the 2nd of May, 2023. And then the book coming after that, book number seven, we don't have a name for or a cover. We literally know no information about it, except for the fact that it's coming out on the 4th of July, 2023. And recent FNAF news has led to us finding out that there are not only seven books, not only eight, but nine. And if I had to take a guess, this would be a 12 book series as well. I know that Fazbear Frights, the, the 12th book was a Scrap Stories book, but it still, it still technically was a 12th book. So I think we're going to get the same, actually, with Tales on the Pizzaplex. It gives us a lot of time for the epilogues, uh, and it would, it would mean that we still have like a, a year and a half to go, but I, I am here for it, honestly. I, I think it's great. The, the series is amazing. So uh, go off Tales on the Pizzaplex. Okay, so let's talk about some of the odd books, the oddballs of the books. Uh, we have the Secure to Reach Files, that is already out, that came out in September, 
and uh, I didn't make any videos on it because I didn't feel there was any need to. There isn't really any new content. I think the book looks really cool. I didn't buy it myself, but I think from what I've seen, the book looks cool. The content in it just isn't great though. I, I heard there's a lot of typos and spelling mistakes and uh, really weird information in there that is like really unprecise. I didn't get the book myself. Uh, tell me if you did in the comments, of course. And uh, tell me if you enjoyed it, but I, I don't, I didn't hear many good opinions about it really. So I didn't make any videos on it. Um, and I, of course, Haps kind of overshadowed it because it was released pretty much the same time. But a book that I am very excited for is the FNAF Character Encyclopedia, which is coming out on the 7th of February, 2023. Now, usually I wouldn't really be excited because, oh, it's just going to be Freddy Fazbear is this person, Sheikah is this person. Uh, well, no, not people. <laughs> it would usually just go through like an animatronics inventory, just like it does in the Freddy files. But this seems to be a very extensive book, like it's gonna be a huge book. And not only does it cover the characters from the games, it also c covers characters from the novels and from the short stories. I'm actually really hoping that we get new information from the character encyclopedia. It'd be really cool to see if names are confirmed for for the uh, possession of some of the animatronics. I don't think that's going to happen, but I don't know. There's a lot of theory potential that could come up in there. And then recently we got news that in 2023 we're going to have a FNAF cookbook. Yay! I mean, we did have cookbook sections as well in the FNAF uh, in the in the Freddy Files. But we didn't get much. I don't know how they're going to make a whole book, like a whole cookbook, but I am so excited for that, honestly. Uh, genuinely, my heart is racing. I love the idea of FNAF cookbook. I think that's amazing. I want to pick it up right now and I want to make videos on it. I think I'm going to do that. Tell me in the comments below if you want to see that. Do you want to see me make some of the recipes from the FNAF cookbook that's coming out in 2023? So I think it's time to move on to our last kind of set of things and that is the Fazbear Frights graphic novels. So the first one is already out and it's had a very... I would say it's had a bad response, honestly. Uh, people don't like the art. I've heard that... Um, I've heard from a lot of people that To Be Beautiful is the best out of the three and that Out of Stock is too stylistic. I personally really enjoyed all three. I think that they are all very different and you have to go into it open-minded, I think. And I think it's just really cool that we've got graphic adaptations of the original Fast with Fright stories. We are able to visualize them. But of course, I am a YouTuber, so I do like to visualize things uh, and be able to put cool graphics on the screen and stuff. Anyway, so the second graphic novel has this cover and it is coming out on the 7th of March, 2023. And it contains another three stories contains Fetch, Room for One More, and The New Kid. From the previews alone, people are also kind of doubting whether this one will be any good, but I'm sure that people will still enjoy it, even if it's got some, some funny, weird inconsistencies and uh, a chica that looks like this. But today we also got news that there are going to be an extra three Fazbear Frights graphic novels. I am super impressed by this. I genuinely thought we wouldn't get that many but we already have five confirmed graphic novels. Uh, the third is coming out on September the twenty of September of twenty twenty three, and it features a new artist that we haven't seen in the previous two graphic novels. She is called Diana Camero, and she is actually the graphic novel artist or illustrator for the fourth closet. So this one is going to be a absolute banger. I honestly think that this one is going to be good, so you might want to pick that up. The fourth installation is coming out in January of 2024, and the fifth is coming out in September of 2024, which is two years away, so I, I'm sure you don't really care. But what I'm hoping is that these five books, or maybe it would go to six, I'm hoping that these are going to cover most of the Phasma Fright stories. Um, so at the moment, there's 15 confirmed Fazbear Fright stories that we're going to get graphic novel illustrations for. Uh, I know it'd be really cool to get all of the stories, but that kind of seems kind of... I don't know if they're going to do that. I don't think they're going to. Really, we, we've got a, a good two years of content, I would say, uh, at least from the books. 
Uh, but I know that 2023 is going to be the year of Five Nights at Freddy's, I would say. It's going to be a huge year. 2023 already is a huge year of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's when Fast Friday burns down. Anyway, <laughs> in 2023 as well, we are going to get Ruin, hopefully. At least that's what's planned. And possibly a FNAF movie. So, we have a lot of content even if we don't have that many games, we've got a lot of books to come and uh, I am so excited for all of them. So let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you later. Goodbye.